I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. All right, well. Huh? They already uploaded a new video? What's that? What? Uh, I can't have the same shirt two videos in a row. I gotta change this. What next? Uh, camera. Yeah, let's get this in here. Right about there. Uh, what's- uh, Oh, the green screen! The green screen! Okay, um... Oh my god. There it is. For those of you joining for the first time, I'm Void. This is an amazing game called War of the Worlds, and I have covered it previously. And in my last video, the second that I uploaded it, they posted another update. So that's what we're here for. Again, we're back immediately. These guys work fast. You guys in the comments worked fast to let me know a new video was up. So this is me checking out the next update. Let's just dive in. Let's get the headphones ready. All right, so I'm going to head down to the corner. I'm hearing rumors of an Uber pod. What is this Uber pod? I guess we're about to find out. Yes. Uh, improved AI is more aggressive and better at human detection. Better? <laughs> this is madness! Ah, oh, what a shot to just open up with. I, uh... I love you guys. Oh, the helicopter. Oh, everything sounds so good. Really awesome seeing all the fire in the buildings. And just absolute destruction. Oh, also, so really cool. I was able to interact with World of the Worlds. Also, Hello guys, hope you're doing well. We, I talked about not liking the X's and they said they were gonna take them out, so that's so cool. These guys are so responsive and I think they really are trying to have a cool game that people like and uh, look forward to talking more. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so good. I was gonna say like it looks really good. And for those things to be the clothes of humans that were exterminated floating away. Oh, that is so good. These guys are nailing it. You're nailing it, Flip Switch. You're nailing it. Dynamic environment damage done by tripod movement through the area or heat rays. Yes, this is actually basically what I just talked about with like having the laser do damage to the area. Trees hit by the heat rays will ignite and the leaves will burn off. Epic. Improved tripod AI to use each heat ray individually. Oh, these things are just coming to life. Oh yeah, that's such a good extra little detail. It, it just makes them seem more sentient. They're being more uh, intentional with their choices of heat rank. Oh God, I love how it looks at you. Wait, did it look at us or did it look at them? I think it looked at us and then it shot them down there. New custom made heat ray sounds more similar to the film. Oh, nice. Improved tripod AI stands in place if it's able to kill a large amount of humans in its position. Nice. They're working on so many things. I'm like, Yes, that sweep was epic. This fire is epic. Ah! <laughs> I can't handle this game. Added tracer round effects. Look at this. Yes! 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 <laughs> oh my god. This... I literally brought this up in the last video, and I was just noticing it over here. New realistic heat ray impact effects leave the ground charred and smoldering. I was literally saying, I'm just gonna throw the clip here for what I said. I mean, these lasers are so intense that if they left marks on the ground, like where they shot, and there's like this half of like this laser that's been destroying military people, like, it'd be kind of neat. Oh, look at that. That's so good. This is gold. They have to know that what they're doing is exactly what we want. And I'm sure they're having a blast making this. This is like screenshot worthy. Even the grass looks good, like the glistening. I'm, go I'm going frame by frame. Don't mind me. You can skip this part in the video. Oh, so good. Added sound effects to heat ray impact point. Yeah, that's super helpful. That's also something I, I talked about in the last video. Yes, look at that. That's so good. See ya! <laughs> that is close! Look! Oh my gosh! Our lad. Our little lad. Benji. He was running. He was running so hard. He was trying. Benji, run! Run, Benji! No, Benji! Can you tell I'm excited? I will say, I still think the night looks better. It just, the night fits out all of this genre so much better. Uh, for now. Um, I'm glad they're improving things. The, uh, the the night just really pops to me with the lights and the, the, the moon and everything. All NPCs now have random running speeds. Nice. I noticed that one lady was booking it. She was like, 
I just bought this dress. I'm not dying today. The other kid was hopping along like, <laughs> no. Oh, the sound effects are so like visceral when they're screaming. Okay, one thing I wanted to notice real quick. A lot of the visuals in this remind me of like uh, Day Z. No, not Day Z. You stupid, stupid though. Uh, remind me of Seven Days to Die. And the problem I have with Seven Days to Die is a lot of the towns are just like, they're flat. They're completely flat. So I actually was hoping to see stuff like this where there's like, you know, dips and hills. Hopefully, hopefully the towns are, are fairly dynamic. I mean, as, as much as you can get with a game like this. Seven Days to Die, it just, with the town literally just being a giant flat grid, it just kind of makes it boring and it makes it, it makes me very aware that I'm inside a square. That I'm specifically inside like a plot of land where the town is. Hopefully we get to see some more kind of like dynamic hills and turns and um, maybe even overpasses or things in, in the towns, but uh, cool. It would be really neat if you could actually keybind these. Uh, oh, shortcut. Hey Void, why don't you like, why don't you like look at the screen and read everything before you, you say something? Okay, no. all right, yeah, I'll try. Okay, good, try to remember harder. I will, all right, jeez. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get fried. <laughs> okay, lady, standing there like a freak. <laughs> that is creepy, she's like all grudge standing there in the, in the hallway. Maybe this is some of the lighting they were also talking about, because this looks really good to me, compared to like the direct daylight earlier. This looks awesome. Anything from like uh, afternoon, dusk into night just looks so good in this game to me. But talking about like the NPCs, yeah, it seems like they just run until they are like safe and they just kind of stand around. It's a, it's a little weird because it's just like, hey, what are you all doing in the street? Maybe uh, they could like gather together. Maybe they, they would be like all scared and like they huddle together or they pick like a POI that's near to them and just gonna move towards it, maybe like against a wall or like they go inside. I think that would just make them be a little bit more, a little bit less NPC-ish, right? You would kind of almost see them like working together or just being scared together. Maybe you hear some like cool voice lines of like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm alive. Or someone's like crying because their buddy just got zapped. I don't know, just fun stuff to think about. Oh my gosh, so good. That was a very Stranger Things-esque uh, shot there and I am not complaining. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> the screams are so loud. <laughs> that legit scared me. I'm sweating a little bit. I wasn't ready for that lady to lose her shit like that. Sh sh shut up guys, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! Everyone be quiet! Nice! That's so solid. That is so crisp. Oh. New Uber pod! Larger commander tripod. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Larger commander tripod with thicker legs, larger head, different sounds, and expanded field of view distance. My god. Flip switch. Guys, what are you- guys. Guys, what are you doing? You're really trying to make me shit my pants when I play this game, huh? Oh man, I, I oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna read that stuff, I just wanna see this thing. Look at that giant head, holy shit. Ah, oh man, I wanna see more of it. All right, what did I miss? Oh yeah, super cool. New spectate mode camera available in separate game mode after death. Separate game mode, huh? <laughs> New work in progress procedural. Oh, inverse kinematic uh, based leg animations keep feet planet, allowing for smoother fluid movement, especially when turning and climbing or descending hills. Nice. Hats off to you guys. I'm sure that was a ton of work. I've never gone far enough into game development to have to use inverse kinematics. I was looking forward to the day you guys would implement it because I knew it would just really sell these tripods stomping on the ground. So good job, hats off to you. You guys are crushing it. And so are they, clearly. Improved tripod AI can now hear screams and prioritizes targets. It's awesome. I mean like just, all these things take so much time. I, I'm just, I'm just impressed. <laughs> Improved tripod AI to work and move together. Those clouds look awesome. 
I love this. I love how they're rolling and that's that's great. That's very nice. This guy going out here. This is so cool. It's like so peaceful and then he's just chilling. Oh my god. Wait, did that one see him? I think it did. I think it did. Bro, they're so huge. Oh jeez, I thought it saw him. Tripods will sound their horn when spotting humans or attacked and summon wandering tripods to their area. Nice! So that's what that was. So he heard a horn. He was like, oh, I gotta go help my buddy pound some humans into the ground. One thing I just uh, noticed, it seems hard to know when they notice you. I know that's probably like a good thing that like adds to the unshorty and the terror. But something I just want to notice right here. So we can see where the tripods are. They're like quite a ways off. They've got these giant lights on the front of them, right? So we're just looking at this. Everything looks the same. Look at the lighting. That's what I'm just trying to point out here. Okay, now look where they are. So they were farther away and now he's like right here like above the window and like the lighting in the room, like there's no ray. I think it would be really helpful and really dynamic to see more of like a God ray from their, 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 their <laughs> I was going to say from their noses, from their snoots. So that like, as he's passing this window, there's like this ray coming in and you can kind of see, it would just, you would see it. And it would, it would just kind of give you a sense of like, okay, if I step into this light, there's a huge potential that he'll see me. It, you know, that could just help the player mechanically, like gameplay wise, but I think also like cinematically and maybe you see some like dust particles or something. So like, even if you're behind a building or something and they like turn the corner, you would like literally see the, the beam kind of start to move across the pavement to where you are. And you'd be like, oh my God, like I gotta move. Like, I think it would just give a greater sense of like them being near you. If you weren't looking out the window, nothing visibly would tell me they're behind me. You would hear them, you would see the house shaking, or even if you were facing the other way, you would just see this light suddenly just like come right into the room. Uh, just something I noticed that I think would just bring that connection between you and them more at that, that tense uh, threat would be brought a little bit closer if you added something like that. Red volumetric fog grows over time. Nice. This is really starting to feel like end of the world stuff with all the layers they're adding now on top of everything. Dynamic tentacle and heat rays physics swing and sway extremities based on tripod movements. Whoa, new improved cages, detailed, detailing lighting and, and animations done. Wow, oh my God. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, so good. NPCs crowding the cages and the tentacle reaching down will be added next. Oh my God. Well done. Well done, you guys. That was awesome. You guys are the best. Keep rolling. Congrats on the uh, 27. Let's get them to 30. You guys were on top of it. As soon as you saw this video, my last video go up, you told me that there were more updates. And my goodness, that Uber pod, I'm excited to see that big boy more um, in daylight. I mean, he looks awesome. It's really cool how like, just big and huge the head is. and the different sounds, you guys are crushing it. Oh, almost didn't boop the like button. So good, and yeah, we are gonna throw a heart in there, and an alien. Let's see what some people are saying. This is way better concept for survival horror than anything else on the market, purely because of how powerless your character is going to be. It will probably be like being an ant trying to escape from a psychopathic kid with a magnifying glass. There is literally nothing you can do other than run, hide, and pray you last long enough for the kid to leave you alone. That is well said. Crazy Toad Stash. That's, that's exactly it. Yeah, Kit, I, uh, I watch your videos too. Kit, you're awesome. Thank you guys for hanging out. Gosh, I'm just so excited. I can't even focus. What am I, what am I saying? What's my outro? I don't know. Y you guys are cool. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a uh, part of the channel. I've noticed a lot of growth lately. I appreciate it. It's great seeing everyone hanging out. Love it. See you guys in the next one. And as always, have a great day.